So let me start sharing a personal experience. Earlier in my college days, I had a teacher who was an exceptional cricket. One day during a crucial meeting, I noticed something unusual. While everyone was busy sharing their thoughts, their ideas, she remained mostly silent. After the meeting, I asked her why she didn't speak much. She smiled and replied, Vedant. Just wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me start by sharing a personal experience. Earlier in my school life, I had a class teacher who was an exceptional communicator. One day during a crucial meeting, I noticed something unusual. While everyone was busy sharing their ideas and opinions, she remained mostly silent, listening intently. After the meeting, I asked her why she didn't speak much. She smiled and replied, Vedant, the art of communication is, isn't just about speaking well, but it's about listening deeply. Such a nice answer she gave. With that, presiding officer, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the another exciting program of fun and learning at the sixth chapter meeting of Barker Toastmaster Club. I am Vedant <laughs> for this meeting. Communication is more than just exchanging of words. It's about connecting with others, sharing ideas and understanding different perspectives. Effective communication requires three things. Empathy, clarity and ability. It's an art that involves both speaking and listening but ensuring that our words are not just heard, but also understood. Whether you are presenting to an audience, participating in a meeting, or having a casual conversation with friends, this ability to communicate effectively can make a significant difference. In this today's fast-paced digital world, the, master, the need of mastering this art of communication is very crucial than ever. Technology has given us numerous ways, but with that, it has also introduced new challenges. Digital communication can sometimes lack in personal touch and uh, emotional nuance of face to face interaction. That's why it's essential for us to be mindful about how we are communicating across different platforms. By refining our skills, we can ensure that our words remain clear and impactful, whatever medium is. As we delve into this theme, let's reflect on our communication styles and strive to become an effective communicator. Let's take this opportunity to learn from each other share ideas and grow together in this mastery, in this journey of mastering art of communication. With that, uh, let me introduce you the program for the day uh, for the benefit of guests. We have three sections. The first one is prepared speeches, where the speaker will deliver the prepared speech from either from the competent communicator or from pathways. Which certain objectives. The speech will be later evaluated by the evaluator who give detailed feedback. The second session is of impromptu speaking. Here, speakers are challenged to think on their feet 
and deliver a one to two minute speech on a certain. This is the section where you will learn how to think fast and <laughs> speak on the spur of moment. This uh, section will led by table topic master. The third session is about uh, evaluation, where each role player and speaker will get detailed feedback. This session will led by uh, general event. Now, before uh, starting meeting, let me introduce my colleagues who will help me to control and conduct of this meeting. So, we have. So, for today's meeting, we have Sergeant at Arms, who is software engineer by profession and who loves to re read books. Uh, please welcome Mahindra. He's on. Toastmaster, he is on. Toastmaster Mahindra. Someone will be observing everything and give you, you uh, give us the detailed feedback of everything that happened. This person also led the third session. We have someone who is software engineer by profession and love read books. Please welcome Toastmaster Santosh. My role is to look after the proceedings of the meeting and give a detailed feedback. The feedback is not only about the speakers, but the feedback is about overall uh, uh, meeting right from the start. Uh, we started right. Uh, so if I could find any uh, gap, uh, gaps in terms of uh, timings when we should start the meeting, when we should actually close the meeting. And uh, it's a feedback about all the role players who are going to take part in the today's uh, uh, meeting. Thank you, Toshmas. Thank you, to, to keep track on time, we have someone who is software engineer by profession and loves to listen music. Please welcome Toastmaster Sandeep. Good evening, presiding officer, uh, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmaster, dear guests. Let's write to that. Take care of minutes and the hours will take care of this skill. With this, I will, in today's uh, meeting, as a timer, my job is to track, keep, uh, keep the track of every minutes of the meeting and note down the exact timing of all the speakers, whether the, is all the speeches, Toastmasters, or uh, sorry, uh, table topic speeches, uh, evaluations, uh, and all the role players when they even uh, they report their present their report. Uh, when the speaker reaches to the minimum time, I will turn on red uh, green flag. When the speaker reaches to the exact midpoint, I will turn on the yellow flag. And uh, when the speaker reaches to the end of the time of their speech, I will turn on red flag. The speaker will get uh, 30 seconds of grace period. After that, if they cross 30 seconds of grace period, they will be disqualified for them. I will present my report throughout the meeting whenever whenever called. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. keep track on unnecessary sound. We have someone who is software engineer by profession and loves traveling. Please welcome Toastmaster Govind. Hello everyone. So today my role is to to count the all the unnecessary words that we use Hello. in our speech. The words like uh um Hello. so and you know these kind these all kind of words. Basically, even if, if we remove it, it does not impact our it does not impact our speeches. So better to remove it.
suitable for the my target picture santosh kumar singh is going to give a speech on his pathway dynamic leadership project 1 level 2 the objective of the speech is writing a speech with the purpose deliver an effective well defined speech on a narrow enough topic over to you prof master rajan timer please note down the timing for the speech is 5 to 6 minutes the speaker is sales professional by profession and how to read books let's welcome how many you have uh, how many of you have a significant impact in your life where you have failed to face that situation is there anyone who has who has in your life you have passed through a, a certain challenges where you have failed to manage the situation okay so good evening presenting of close master today tell me close master what do you think by showing your hands i come to know that everyone has faced these challenges in their life life is full of challenges whether comes in the form of uh, you know personal thing or setback of professional things or a global crisis like pandemic covid 19 we have all faced this things in the right now the ability to bounce back these challenges and thrive with the adversity is what we call as resilience today i want to explore the concept of resilience and would share how to build the strategies for this resilience let's understand the resilience meaning and importance any would anyone would have like to tell about the resilience what you understand just one person because we have a scarcity of time what you understand about resilience yeah please the resilience is like the things right which come forward and identify the problems and situation try to provide provide the solutions meticulously yeah good yeah ability to do that from the failures good thank you i think i have a limited time so it's not a table topic session so i have to deliver my speech i think uh, you both were right so it's like it's not only that you are bouncing back on the situations or overcoming the challenges but also to strategize yourself to overcome these challenges by strengthening your skills so that in future if you have anything which comes to your life you are able to sustain in that situation and in a very flexible way you are able to manage that situation that's what is resilience now it's very crucial uh, in our daily life because we all gets all these challenges in the life second is to understand the components of resilience now to understand the components of re resilience the first thing is to have a positive mindset how to make a positive mindset you have to clear about your goals you have to <clears throat> you know uh, get it clear concise of the things which you are doing it let's say if you have any challenges in your life you are not able to overcome it try to figure it out the things which are which have to be explored or we have to be relaxed in that manner so that the things which are there in the positive note you are inculcating that and you are able to manage that situation second is to have strong and strong relations and social networking which helps us with uh, you know with family member with your colleague or with your uh, neighbors so that when you come in that situation they help you in that particular way so that you are able to overcome the challenges third is we should be fit in our lifestyle so that whenever these challenges comes to us we are able to help ourselves first you know to overcome these challenges 
and in later on when you face these situations you are healthy enough to overcome these challenges coming to to the point uh, yeah so i think this is the main uh, important things which i think everyone has to do in the life in conclusion i would say resilience is not uh, is not the only matter right which you can do it by you know building all these things but it has to be in a it has to be activated in a disciplined manner so that you are not not just doing on the on, only on the circumstances but also it becomes a regular practice for you so whenever it whenever it, this situations comes you are flexible in a very uh, manner way where you don't fee, feel any panic situation and you are able to sustain these things so overall i would encourage everyone in your life to to reflect on your mindset be fit come over overcome these challenges by all this which i have told to you thank you thank you toastmaster santosh uh, you are correct uh, to achieve our goals and target we need resilience now moving to the second speaker the second speaker is attempting project 1 from the level 4 of the presentation mastery and the evaluator for this speech is santosh i request the evaluator to read uh, sandeep the evaluator for this speech is sandeep i request the evaluator to read the objectives of the speech over to toastmaster sandeep my target speaker sanjay patel would be giving a speech on presentation mastery evaluation and feedback level 1 uh, present a topic on any a speech on any topic the title is the title would, would be new the new beginning what you see timer please note down the timing for the speeches 5 to 6 minutes the speaker is software engineer by profession who loves to play chess please welcome toastmaster sanjay our life is like an open book each chapter is filled with promise and potential but some of the chapters are daunting it is easy to skip those daunting chapters of our life just by turning the page and move on but true beg true growth begins when we embrace each chapters of the life no matter how daunting it is good evening my fellow course masters if i am not clear to you where are you sitting just listen closely sometimes we need to change the perspective to understand the things clearly are you scared right now let me take you back to my childhood i was 8 years old and it was the new year school that was the first day and my mom has dressed me in an out in a mismatched outfit my big brother hands me down shirts and my sister bright jacket it was not less than looks like a pop star of 1957 i walked into the classroom and i i can feel that all eyes on me it was terrifying i wanted to run away and hide myself so that nobody could see me but something amazing happened my class teacher bk tripathi he looked at me warmly but he said loudly hey you get up come in front of the class and say something interesting you can imagine the level of my fear it was not lesser than of course 
the impromptu speech of a Toastmasters meeting. With my trembling leg and shaking hand, somehow I managed to come in front of the class. But somehow I started speaking about my two pets, Tiger and Bunsi. To my surprise, the entire class erupted in laughter. Not on my outfit, but on the story that I was speaking to them about the communication between my family and my pets. Few years fast forward. There is another new beginnings I was facing, my first job interview. I prepared very well. I extensively rehearsed my all the questions that is supposed to be asked during the test time. Even I handshake, practice the handshake in front of the mirror. This is what informed by my placement officer of the college. Somehow I did not prepare for the walk-in interviews and I did not realize the level of crowd that is there. I walked into a, a interview room and I started speaking about giving my introduction. Also the kind of programming language that I have learned and the operating system and all, I think computer science care, maybe you can understand that. After a few minutes, there is a pin drop silence in the room. Neither I am speaking nor the interviewer. Both were looking to each other and just one question has come after some time. 